Silent Valley National Park Malayalam, Salinar Valley National Park is a national park with a core zone of 237.52 square kilometers, 92 square miles, making it the second largest national park in Kerala. This national park has some rare species of flora and fauna. It is located in the Nilgiri Hills within Manarkad of Palakkad district of Kerala, South India. This region was explored in 1847 by the botanist Robert White. This park is one of the last undisturbed tracts of southwestern Ghats mountain rain forests and tropical moist evergreen forest in India. Contiguous with the proposed Karampuza National Park 225 square kilometers to the north and Mukherthi National Park 78.46 square kilometers to the northeast, it is the core of the Nilgiri International Biosphere Reserve 1,455.4 square kilometers, and is part of the Nilgiri sub-cluster 6,000 plus km2, Western Ghats World Heritage Site, recognized by UNESCO in 2007, plans for a hydroelectric project that threatened the park's rich wildlife stimulated an environmentalist social movement in the 1970s, known as the Save Silent Valley Movement, which resulted in cancellation of the project and creation of the park in 1980. The visitor's center for the park is at Sirondri. History The Silent Valley region is locally known as Sirondravanam which in Malayalam means Sirandri's forest. Sirandri is Draupadi, the wife of the Pandavas in the epic Mahabharata, who disguised herself as Sirandri, the maid of a queen named Sudeshna, while her family was in exile. The Pandavas, deprived of their kingdom, set out on a thirteen-year exile. They wandered south, into what is now Kerala, until one day they came upon a magical valley where rolling grasslands met wooded ravines, a deep green river bubbled its course through impenetrable forest, where at dawn and twilight the tiger and elephant would drink together at the water's edge, where all was harmonious and man unknown. Beside that river, in a cave on a hill slope, the Pandavas halted. <laughs> British exploration. The first western investigation of the watersheds of the Silent Valley area was in 1857 by the botanist Robert White. The British named the area Silent Valley because of a perceived absence of noisy cicadas. Another story attributes the name to the anglicization of Sirondri. A third story, refers to the presence there of many lion-tailed macaques Macaca silenus. In 1914 the forest of the Silent Valley area was declared a reserve forest, however, from 1927 to 1976 portions of the Silent Valley forest area were subjected to forestry operations. In 1928 the location on the Kunthapuja River at Sirondri was identified as an ideal site for electricity generation and in 1958 a study and survey of the area was conducted and a hydroelectric project of 120 MV costing Rs. 17 crore was proposed by the Kerala State Electricity Board. Topic: Environmental concerns. Silent Valley is home to the largest population of lion-tailed macaques, an endangered species of primate. Public controversy over their habitat led to the establishment of Silent Valley National Park. In 1973 the valley became the focus of Save Silent Valley, India's fiercest environmental movement of the decade, when the Kerala State Electricity Board decided to implement the Silent Valley Hydroelectric Project SVHEP centered on a dam across the Kunthapuja River. The resulting reservoir would flood 8.3 square kilometres of virgin rainforest and threaten the lion-tailed macaque. In 1976 the Kerala State Electricity Board announced plans to begin dam construction and the issue was brought to public attention. Romulus Whitaker, founder of the Madras Snake Park and the Madras Crocodile Bank, was probably the first person to draw public attention to the small and remote area. In 1981, Professor C. V. Subramanian, the internationally acclaimed mycologist, wrote to Mrs. Indira Gandhi, seeking her intervention to stop the dam construction, which held very unique flora and fauna. Professor Subramanian also submitted a report on the Silent Valley on the basis of which Mrs. Gandhi decided to abandon the project. The Silent Valley forests were declared as a national park. 
On September 7, 1985 the Silent Valley National Park was formally inaugurated and a memorial at Sirondri to Indira Gandhi was unveiled by Shri. Rajiv Gandhi, her son and the next Prime Minister. On September 1, 1986 Silent Valley National Park was designated as the core area of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Since then, a long-term conservation effort has been undertaken to preserve the Silent Valley ecosystem. In 2001 a new hydro project was proposed and the man versus monkey debate was revived. The proposed site of the dam, 64.5 meters high and 275 meters long, is just 3.5 kilometers downstream of the old dam site at Sirondiri, 500 meters outside the national park boundary. The Kerala Minister for Electricity called the Pathrakadavu Dam (PHEP) an eco-friendly alternative to the old Silent Valley project. The claim was that the submergence area of the PHEP would be a negligible 0.041 square kilometers compared to 8.30 square kilometers submergence of the 1970s SVHEP. From January to May 2003, a Rapid Environmental Impact Assessment (EIA) was carried out. On November 15, Minister for Forest Benoy Viswam said that the proposed buffer zone for Silent Valley would be declared soon. On February 21, 2007, ex Chief Minister A.K. Antony told reporters after a cabinet meeting that, When the Silent Valley proposal was dropped, the centre had promised to give clearance to the Puyamkuti project. This promise, however, had not been honoured. The Kerala government has not taken any decision on reviving the Silent Valley Heidel project. On April 18, 2007, Kerala Chief Minister V. S. Achuthanandan and his cabinet approved the Pathrakadavu hydroelectric project and sent it to the union government for environmental approval. <laughs> <laughs> Buffer zone Territorial forests located around the national park have been subject to a working plan to accomplish revenue-oriented objectives such as extraction of bamboo and reed which affect the long-term conservation of the park. In addition illegal activities such as ganja cultivation, setting forest fires, trapping and poaching wild animals, frequently occur in the territorial forests located in the immediate vicinity of the national park. This has resulted in degradation of habitat and reduced forest cover, which has adverse effects on the long-term survival of the core area of the National Park. On November 21, 2009, Union Minister of Forest and Environment Jiram Ramesh and Kerala Forest Minister Benoy Viswam declared, while inaugurating the Silver Jubilee celebration of Silent Valley National Park in Palakkad, that the buffer zone of the park would be made an integral part of it in order to ensure better protection of the area. This means that the total park area is now increased to 236.74 square kilometers, 91 square miles. It is now the largest national park in Kerala. 1. On June 6, 2007, the Kerala cabinet approved the buffer zone proposal. The new 147.22 square kilometers zone will include 80.75 square kilometers taken from Adipati Forest Range, 27.09 square kilometers from Manarkad Forest Range and 39.38 square kilometers from Kalakavu Forest Range and consolidated to form a new range, Bhavani Forest Range of 94 square kilometers and 54 square kilometers would be brought under the existing Silent Valley Range of the National Park. The cabinet also sanctioned 35 staff to protect the area and two new forest stations in Bhavani Range at Anavai and Thudaki. Forest Minister Benoy Viswam said, The zone would have reserve forest status and tribals in the area would not be affected. The decision reaffirmed the commitment of the LDF government to protection of environment. The zone is a necessity, not just of the state but also of the nation. The proposal was then sent to Kerala Minister for Electricity, Mr. A. K. Balan, who has voiced the need for setting up the Pathrakadavu hydroelectric project in the proposed southwest buffer zone of the National Park, the Thankara Range of the Manarkad Forest Division. As of May 9, 2007, Mr. Balan has not given his opinion on the buffer zone proposal. In August 2006, the new Minister for Forests, Benoy Viswam, approved a proposal from the Conservator of Forests for a 148 square kilometres buffer zone around the core area of the park. The proposal says, 
It is felt absolutely essential that an effective buffer of forests should be immediately formed around the national park in order to save the world-famous Silent Valley National Park from all potential dangers. This can only be achieved by bringing the management of Silent Valley National Park as well as the proposed buffer zone under one management umbrella to insulate the park from all possible dangers. The proposed buffer zone will have 94 square kilometers in Atapati Reserve Forest east of the Kunthapuja and 54 square kilometers taken from the Manarkad Range and Nalambar South Division west of the river. In January 2006, the former Kerala Minister for Forest and Environment, A. Sujanapal, said the government would consider the demand for a 600 square kilometres buffer zone for Silent Valley National Park made by Bharathapuja Protection Committee, Malampuza Protection Committee, One Earth One Life and Jana Jagratha. A buffer zone proposal was made in the 1986 Park Management Plan but not implemented. In 1979, Dr. M. S. Swami Nathan, then Secretary to the Department of Agriculture, visited the Silent Valley area and suggested that 389.52 square kilometers including the Silent Valley 89. 52 square kilometers, New Amrambalam 80 square kilometers, Atapati 120 square kilometers in Kerala and Kunda in Coimbatore 100 square kilometers reserve forests, should be developed into a national rainforest biosphere reserve. Topic. Geography Silent Valley is rectangular, 12 km from north to south and 7 from east to west. Located between 11 degrees 03 to 11 degrees 13 N latitude and 76 degrees 21 to 76 degrees 35 E longitude, it is separated from the eastern and northern high altitude plateaus of the Nilgiris Mountains by high continuous ridges, including Sispara Peak, 2,206 meters, at the north end of the park. The park gradually slopes southward down to the Palakkad Plains, and to the west, it is bounded by irregular ridges. The altitude varies from 658 meters to 2328 meters at Anjinda Peak, but most of the park lies within the altitude range of 880 meters to 1200 meters. Soils are blackish and slightly acidic in evergreen forests where there is good accumulation of organic matter. The underlying rock in the area is granite with schists and gneiss, which give rise to the loamy laterite soils on slopes. Topic. Rivers The Kuntipuja River drains the entire 15 km length of the park from north to south into the Bharathapuja River. Kuntipuja River divides the park into a narrow eastern sector of width 2 km and a wide western sector of 5 km. The river is characterized by its crystal clear water and perennial nature. The main tributaries of the river, Kunthangkalapuja, Karingathodu, Madramaranthodu, Valiaparathodu and Kumathanthodu originate on the upper slopes of the eastern side of the valley. The river is uniformly shallow, with no flood plains or meanders. Its bed falls from 1,861 metres to 900 metres over a distance of 12 kilometres, the last 8 kilometres being particularly level with a fall of only 60 metres. Kuntipuja is one of the less torrential rivers of the Western Ghats, with a pesticide-free catchment area. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Silent Valley gets copious amounts of rainfall during the monsoons, but the actual amount varies within the region due to the varied topography. In general, rainfall is higher at higher altitudes and decreases from the west to the east due to the rain shadow effect. 80% of the rainfall occurs during the southwest monsoon between June and September. The park also receives a significant amount of rainfall during the northeast monsoon between October and November. The park, being completely enclosed within a ring of hills, has its own microclimate and probably receives some convectional rainfall, in addition to rain from the two monsoons. In the remaining months, condensation on vegetation of mist shrouding the valley is estimated to yield 15% of the total water generated in the rainforest. In 2006, the Walakad area of the park received the highest ever annual rainfall of 9,569.6 mm. 
In 2000, the figure was 7,788 mm, in 2001, 8,351.9 mm, in 2004, 8,465.3 mm, and in 2005, 9,347.8 mm. The annual rainfall received in the valley at Sirondri, was 7,788.8 mm in 2000, 8,361.9 mm in 2001. In 2002, 4,262.5 mm, in 2003, 3,499.65 mm, in 2004, 6,521.27 mm, in 2005, 6,919.38 mm, in 2006, 6,845.05 mm, in 2007, 6,009.35 mm, and in 2008 it was 4, 1,386.5 mm. The figure till October 2009 was 5,477.4 mm. Average annual rainfall in the park between 2000 and 2008 was thus 6,066 mm. The mean annual temperature is 20.2 degrees Celsius. The hottest months are April and May when the mean temperature is 23 degrees Celsius and the coolest months are January and February when the mean temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Because of the high rainfall, the relative humidity is consistently high above 95% between June and December. <laughs> Tribes There is no record of the valley ever having been settled, but the Mudugur and Irula tribal people are indigenous to the area and do live in the adjacent valley of Atapati Reserved Forest. Also, the Kurumbar people occupy the highest range outside the park bordering on the Nilgiris. Many of the Mudugur, Irula and Kurumbar now work as day laborers and porters. Some work for the forest department in the park as forest guards and visitor guides. 16 out of 21 tribal colonies in the Atapati range are notorious for ganja cultivation. Many Mudugar are in abject poverty and easily recruited by the so called ganja mafia. There is a plan to employ 50 additional men from these 21 tribal settlements as forest guards for 500 rupees per man month. <laughs> Flora and fauna The valley areas of the park are in a tropical and subtropical moist broadleaf forests ecoregion. Hilly areas above 1,000 meters are in the southwestern Ghats montane rainforests region. Above 1,500 meters, the evergreen forests begin to give way to stunted forests, called sholas, interspersed with open grassland, both of which are of interest to ecologists as the rich biodiversity here has never been disturbed by human settlements. Several threatened species are endemic here. New plant and animal species are often discovered here. Topic Fauna Topic Birds BirdLife International lists 16 bird species in Silent Valley as threatened or restricted, Nilgiri wood pigeon, Malabar parakeet, Malabar gray hornbill, white-bellied treepy, gray-headed bulbul, broad-tailed grassbird, rufous babbler, winod laughing thrush, Nilgiri laughing thrush, Nilgiri blue robin, black and rufous flycatcher, Nilgiri flycatcher, white-bellied blue flycatcher, crimson-backed sunbird and Nilgiri pipit. Rare bird species found here include the Ceylon frogmouth and Great Indian hornbill. The 2006 Winter Bird Survey discovered the long-legged buzzard, a new species of raptor at Sispara, the park's highest peak. The survey found 10 endangered species recorded in the IUCN Red List including the red-winged crested cuckoo, Malabar pied hornbill and pale harrier. The area is home to 15 endemic species including the black and orange flycatcher. It recorded 138 species of birds including 17 species that were newly observed in the Silent Valley area. The most abundant bird was the black bulbul. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mammals. There are at least 34 species of mammals at Silent Valley including the threatened lion-tailed macaque, Nilagiri langur, Malabar giant squirrel, Nilgiri tar, Peshwa's bat and hairy-winged bat. 
There are nine species of bats, rats, and mice. Distribution and demography of all diurnal primates were studied in Silent Valley National Park and adjacent areas for a period of three years from 1993 to 1996. Fourteen troops of lion tailed macaque, 85 troops of Nilgiri langur, 15 troops of bonnet macaque, and 7 troops of Hanuman langur were observed. Of these, the Nilgiri langur was randomly distributed, whereas the lion tailed macaque troops were confined to the southern sector of the park. Bonnet macaques and Hanuman langurs were occasional visitors. The Silent Valley Forest remains one of the most undisturbed viable habitats left for the endemic and endangered primates lion tailed macaque and Nilgiri langur, the tiger, leopard, panther, leopard cat, jungle cat, fishing cat, common palm civet, small Indian civet, brown palm civet, ruddy mongoose, striped necked mongoose, dole, clawless otter, sloth bear, small travancore flying squirrel, Indian pangolin, scaly anteater, porcupine, wild boar, sambar, spotted deer, barking deer, mouse deer, elephant and Gower also live here. Insects There are at least 730 identified species of insects in the park. The maximum number of species belong to the orders Lepidoptera and Coleoptera. Many unclassified species have been collected and there is a need for further studies. 33 species of crickets and grasshoppers have been recorded of which one was new. 41 species of true bugs eight new have been recorded. 128 species of beetles including 10 new species have been recorded. Over 128 species of butterflies and 400 species of moths live here. A 1993 study found butterflies belonging to nine families. The families Nymphalidae and Papilionidae contained the maximum number of species. Thirteen species were endemic to South India, including five species having protected status. Seven species of butterflies were observed migrating in a mixed swarm of thousands of butterflies towards the Silent Valley National Park. In one instance an observer noted several birds attempting to catch these butterflies, a survey jointly conducted by Indian Dragonfly Society and the Forest and Wildlife Department in September 2018 in the buffer zone of the Silent Valley National Park found 82 species of Odonata. The species found include Indostictta decanensis, Burmagomphus laidlawi, Microgomphus suteri, Onychogomphus nilgiriensis, Euphia dispar, Idionyx travancarensis, Megalogomphus hanningtoni and Leshtes dorothea. Other At least 500 species of earthworms and leeches have also been identified in the park. The Silent Valley bush frog, Reorchest Silent Valley, first described in 2016, is named after the park. Flora The flora of the valley include about a 1,000 species of flowering plants, 108 species of orchids, 100 ferns and fern allies, 200 liverworts, 75 lichens and about 200 algae. A majority of these plants are endemic to the western ghats. <laughs> flowering plants Angiosperm flora currently identified here include 966 species belonging to 134 families and 599 genera. There are 701 dicotyledons distributed among 113 families and 420 genera. There are 265 monocotyledons here distributed among 21 families and 139 genera. Families best represented are the orchids with 108 species including the rare, endemic and highly endangered orchids Ipsea malabarica, Bulbophyllum silentvaliensis and area tiagi, grasses 56, legumes 55, rubiaceae 49, and asters 45. There are many rare, endemic and economically valuable species, such as Cardamom elitaria cardamomum, black pepper piper nigrum, yams dioscaria spp, beans phaseolus sp, a pest-resistant strain of rice oriza pitambi, and 110 plant species of importance in Ayurvedic medicine. Seven new plant species have been recorded from Silent Valley, including in 1996, Impatience sivarogeny, a new species of balsamonaceae. Topic. Trees 
Occurrence of lion tailed macaque is dependent on the flowering of Colonia exerilata in the forest. Six distinct tree associations have been described in the valley. Three are restricted to the southern sector Colonia exerilata and Palachium ellipticum, Palachium ellipticum and Mesua feria, Indian rose chestnut. Mesua feria and Calophyllum elatum. The remainder are confined to the central and northern parts of the park. Palachium ellipticum and Picolonaron indicum. Calophyllum elatum and Ochlandra species. Picolonaron indicum and Ochlandra species. A study of natural regeneration of 12 important tree species of Silent Valley tropical rainforests showed good natural regeneration of all 12 species. The species studied were Palachium ellipticum, Cullinia exerilata, Picolonaron indicum, Maristica dactyloides, Eliacarpus glandulosus, Litsia floribunda, Mesua nagasarium, Cinnamomum malabatrum, Agrististachys meboldi, Calophyllum polyanthum, Garcinia morella, and Actinodophni campanulata. Recent selective felling of three trees per acre has led to the cutting of 48,000 cubic meters of timber from about 20 square kilometers. There is a huge hollow catchling tree here which can fit 12 people in inside. Topic: <inaudible> Genetic resources. Throughout human history, about 10% of the genetic stock found in the wild has been bred into palatable and higher yielding cereals, fruits and vegetables. Future food security depends on the preservation of the remaining 90% of the stock through protection of high biodiversity habitats like Silent Valley. The National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources of ICAR, India, Plant Exploration and Collection Division has identified Silent Valley as high in biodiversity and an important gene pool resource for recombinant DNA innovations. An important example of use of wild germplasm is gene selection from the wild varieties of rice Oriza nivara Central India and Oriza pitambi found in Silent Valley for the traits of broad-spectrum disease resistance in high-yielding hybrid rice varieties including IR36, which are responsible for much of the green revolution throughout Asia. Also, genetic evaluation of plant growth promoting rhizobacteria obtained from Silent Valley indicated that strain, IISR331, could increase the growth of black pepper cuttings by 228% and showed 82.7% inhibition of the common plant wilting disease Phytophthora capsicea in laboratory tests in vitro. <laughs> <laughs> Challenges <laughs> Forest fire Fire is one of the major threats facing forests in Kerala. People engaged in grazing livestock often burn an area to get fresh grass shoots for their cattle, especially during dry season when fire danger is greatest. Also, illicit activities like ganja cultivation, poaching, tree felling, non-timber forest products NTFP collection and very often careless tourists and pilgrims are responsible for big forest fires. Cannabis cultivation The cannabis mafia has cut hundreds of acres of evergreen tropical forest in the Atapati Hills, including Silent Valley buffer zones, for illegal cultivation of the cash crop. The Forest Department had an ambitious plan to root out ganja cultivation from the Atapati forests by April 2006. Maoist presence The ticket counter of the Silent Valley National Park at Macaulay was attacked by a group of Maoists in December, 2014. A big contingent of special police has been deployed there since then, but the growing influence of Maoist groups in tribal East Kerala is of grave concern. <laughs> External sources Silent Valley, one of Earth's last unspoiled ecosystems. Blog by Dr. Jayaprakash Silent Valley, Whispers of Reason T. M. Manaharan, ed., Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala Forest Department in association with Kerala Forest Research Institute, Dara Dunn, Distributors, Natraj Publishers, Copyright 1999. 
LCCN 0040364-8 LC SB 484 I52S55 1999 This volume is a tribute to nature and vouches for what can be achieved when naturalists, forestry experts and scientists join hands for the cause of conservation. Iopan A 1988, Tribal Culture and Tribal Welfare by, Uma Sharan Mohanty, University of Madras Department of Anthropology. From Macaulay to Sirondri in Silent Valley National Park 37 photos Silent Valley National Park A travel blog silentvalley.gov.in Only an axe away. This 40-minute, 2004, documentary film narrates the history of the unique campaign to save the Silent Valley from destructive development. The threat to Silent Valley does not cease. Direction, P. Babaraj and C. Sarachandran. Notes <laughs>